Justin.tv was a website created by Justin Kahn, Emmett Shear, Michael Seibel, and Kyle Vogt in 2007 to allow anyone to broadcast video online. Justin.tv user accounts were called channels, like those on YouTube, and users were encouraged to broadcast a wide variety of user-generated live video content, called broadcasts. The company was an internet startup based in San Francisco, California, with seed funding from Paul Graham of seed capital firm Y Combinator and Series A funding with Alsop Louis Partners and Draper Associates. The original Justin.tv was a single channel featuring founder Justin Kahn, who broadcast his life 24-7 and popularized the term lifecasting. In 2007, Justin Kahn stopped broadcasting and Justin.tv relaunched into its later form as a network of thousands of channels. Users were permitted to broadcast to an unlimited number of people for free, and watching broadcasts did not require user registration. Broadcasts that were considered to contain potentially offensive content were available only to registered users over the age of 18. Broadcasts containing defamation, pornography or copyright violations, or encouraging criminal conduct, were prohibited by Justin.tv's terms of service. Justin.tv moved its gaming section to a new site called Twitch in June 2011, and Twitch and the parent company of Justin.tv rebranded as Twitch Interactive in February 2014. The Justin.tv services and brand were officially shut down in August 2014 so that the company could focus on Twitch. Company history Lifecasting Origins The original Justin.tv was a single channel featuring Justin Khan. Wearing a webcam attached to a baseball cap and streamed online via a laptop backpack system designed by co-founder Kyle Vogt, Khan decided he would wear the camera 24-7, and he began streaming continuous live video and audio at midnight March 19, 2007. Khan would be streaming his entire life, minus bathroom and bathing breaks, via a camera attached to his hat and a laptop rig created by Justin.tv co-founder, Kyle Vogt. While streaming, Khan interacted with viewers via an inbuilt chat system. His viewers liked to play pranks on him by reporting different supposed incidents to the police, now known as swatting, or sending large amounts of food to his apartment, both of which remain as still being somewhat popular internet pranks even after the site's shutdown. The novelty of the concept attracted media attention, and Khan interviewed with Ann Curry on The Today Show, April 2, 2007, Tom Merritt on the first episode of CNET Live, Nightline, April 6, 2007, and World News Tonight, April 8, 2007. His lifecasting project has been compared to EDTV, being John Malkovich, and The Truman Show. Some of the few original lifecasters still exist today, while many faded into obscurity. A few of the original and popular lifecasters include, iJustine, a caster who still makes YouTube videos and has over 5 million subscribers on YouTube, Mooncricket Films, a San Francisco lifecaster who began lifecasting since the launch of Justin.tv, and Joe in Iraq, the first and only lifecaster to stream his lifecast in Iraq in 2007-2008 during the war in Iraq, giving the world a unique view of how troops spend their downtime while in a hostile environment. Expansion into platform In the summer of 2007, Justin.tv became a platform for more than 60 different channels. The directory at the top of each channel showed which channels were live and which were not broadcasting. Depending on the entry time, a visitor might have seen only a small selection of the available channels. By August 2007, channels were being added at an average rate of two a day, with content covering both livecasters and event streaming. The international locations range from Australia, Brazil, the United Kingdom, and France to the Netherlands and Sweden. In some cases, a life